quit your gambling addiction. Number 5. 99% of gambling addicts quit gambling right before they hit the jackpot. Number 4. All the cool kids are doing it. Just look at all the FIFA players. Please! No! 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 Number 3. What's going on, DJs? NFL season right around the corner. I'm going to put it in my week 1 uh, parlay leg. It's going to be Panthers plus 4.5. Uh, against the Saints, I would take it to three and a half in case it does get bet there by the time you're watching this. But here are some stats um, to back it up. So um, we're going to start with the stats, anti-Saints stats, right? Because uh, this is, as much as I do think the Panthers will be better, uh, this is a fading of the Saints. So Derek Carr, when he's favored by more than a field goal, he's 10-25-2 against the spread. Dennis Allen against the division opponents, 7-14-2 against the spread. Okay? Overall, he's 7-15-1 against the spread as a favorite, Dennis Allen. Additionally, now so now we'll get to the, those are the reasons. Basically, Saints, Dennis Allen, Derek Carr is a favorite. You're fading them. Um, additionally, right, road underdogs, which is what the Panthers are, week one, that missed the playoffs the season before. 90 and 55 in the last 20 years. That's over 60%. Dave Canals, new head coach for the Panthers, has played Dennis Allen in division before, has worked magic with Baker and Geno Smith. I expect a similar improvement from Bryce Young. Um, we often see quarterbacks that struggled their first season to take a step forward. I think that's what's going to happen. Give me the pants. How's it going, sickos? This is your boy Caden LaDuke here with my leg of the week one parlay for the Sportsbook Slaughterhouse 2024 NFL season. It's the season that's going to make us all rich. It's the season that's going to make you rich because you got to follow these parlays that we're bringing you, and that's the promised land, babe. Kiernan had an excellent leg with the Carolina Panthers to cover. I love all the research he did for it, but as you all know from last year, I'm a vibes guy. If I'm catching the vibe of a pick, that's what I'm going to go with. I'm going to put my heart on the line. And where I'm putting my heart this week is going to be the under on the Chicago Football Bears versus the Tennessee Football Titans at 45 and a half. If you wanted to do like an alt total, make it a little bit more safe, 48 and a half, whatever. I'm sure the odds on that would be all right. But the reasoning behind it is pretty simple, that the Titans don't have a good offense. The Bears' defense is going to be pretty solid. And as special as Caleb Williams is presumably going to be, I just don't really believe that he's going to have a 30-point game. And if he does, then it's going to be a 30-14 to 14 win, you know? Uh, so that's my leg. Chicago Bears, Tennessee Titans, under 45 and a half. Watch a great defensive showcase. If I had to put a guess in the final score, I would say somewhere in, like, the 24-20 to 20 range. But if the 24-21 hits, you know? So, uh, yeah, I think Kurt, Rory, Alex, everybody that put the leg in is going to be great. Kieran's leg is definitely great. And uh, let's go to the promised land together, guys. Week one in the books. All right, this is Kurt Willett reporting from Dame's Liquor Store. And my lock of the week is going to be Khalil Shakir over three and a half receptions. Lock it in. This makes money. Second and nine. Plus the middle. Sherfield was knocked out of Shakir. Knocked down inside the 10. Oh, what an effort. Hey, yo. What's up, everybody? And my leg for Sunday is Jerome Ford over 12 and a half carries at minus 125. And I really like this because I think the Cleveland Browns are going to be pretty run heavy. Deshaun Watson's first game back, so I don't think they want to necessarily have him throw the ball a whole lot against a very good Cowboys defense. And I think 12 and a half is a low number um, for, and they're going to feed him. 